Good evening guys and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, I finished my jewel list um, so that hopefully everything should work out tomorrow. We should go to jewel tomorrow. Um, like how last week we ended up, I told you guys I accidentally sent the um, email. Normally when I make my jewel list to go couponing at the grocery store, I write down the um, like I make my list and I write it, type it up like in an email. And so apparently last week I had ended up sending the email dated, like normally I just write like Saturday shopping, you know, like 112, that would be t tomorrow. Um, and so I think that's tomorrow's date. Um, but normally, like I said, I write like Saturday so that like between, we normally go on Saturday and Thursday. So I know which one's which, especially if I'm making them like ahead of time and I leave them in my drafts. So I will leave them in there and I need to know which one's which obviously when I go back through and have to edit or send it or whatever. And then I send it to me and my dad since when we go out shopping together, normally it's just like he normally winds up reading it off of his phone. Um, and then in a pinch, if one of us forgets our phone or something like that, because I've had that happen a lot and it's a huge pain. And then I have to go off of just the top of my head. Like, I think that was what I had on my list. Like I can't remember sort of thing. So um, like I said, it's really <laughs> helpful and useful when I have it typed out and sent to both of us. But apparently last week, for some reason, I accidentally wrote it as Sunday shopping. My dad didn't end up waking me up until sort of late on Saturday um, to go shopping. And I thought like, oh, maybe he's not feeling good or maybe he had something that was going on and he just forgot to tell me because it was like 10 o'clock and we still hadn't left. And normally we go pretty early. Um, and so like I said, by that time I was finally like, are we going to the grocery store? And he was like, oh, I thought you wanted to go on Sunday because you wrote it as Sunday shopping and I was like no that was my bad that must have been an accident on my part um so like I said I made sure this week that it was dated as Saturday shopping <laughs> so um we will most likely as long as everything goes um you know according to plan we should go tomorrow however there is a slight possibility that that might not happen for some weird reason. Well, not weird reason. I didn't realize this. Um, right when it started getting dark outside, I noticed it started snowing. Um, and I noticed our neighbor's roof was like sort of covered in snow a little bit, just like sort of dusting. And I was like, oh, look at that. Like it's snowing outside. Then I went to go tell my mom something in the living room and you know, like the blinds are open. So I was able to see outside and we have a lot of snow outside again. And so, and I was sort of bummed too, because finally it looked like it was all sort of melting. And I was like, wow, this is really nice. Like the snow is finally going away. I sort of hate that though, that in between time where the snow starts to melt and it looks really ugly and like, you know, then it's all like dirty and you know, like it's mixed with mud and stuff like that. Um, like it's not fresh, clean white snow on the ground. It's like I said, all kinds of like, you know, there's grass and you know, you can see all the, the, um, like plants are popping up sort of through it and stuff like that. Like all the dead stuff that's still in there. And like, it just doesn't look very nice anymore. And so when it's versus when it's freshly covered in the snow, but then once it sort of starts to melt, like I said, it doesn't look so nice anymore. Um, but it was starting to look like that, but I was like, well, hopefully that means it's just going to like melt and go away. And no, now we have more snow piled on top of like what was already there. So, um, like I said, you know, we've got, um, some, some new snow on the ground, which means that hopefully it doesn't snow too crazy much anymore. Um, the only thing is, is that's really weird. Normally I can hear the plows like going outside from my bedroom window. I could not hear anything. So I didn't know it was snowing anyways, like, you know, um, so that's why I thought like, oh, it's just a little sprinkle or whatever snow and, you know, apparently again, we have a, a decent amount of snow, but I haven't really, the streets don't look too bad, but it also doesn't look like anybody's been really outside like plowing the snow either. So I don't know, <laughs> um, if, you know, like I said, how the streets will be tomorrow. Um, and then again, too, like you having to shovel and all that kind of stuff and what that's going to look like. So we should still be able to go tomorrow. And again, it hopefully won't turn into like it did last weekend. Um, and again, too, we couldn't go to Valley Produce and Cook 
Hooters on Thursday and then we couldn't go today either so um we'll have to go on Monday but Caputo's really actually doesn't have hardly anything going on um and if they do it's the same deals as Valley Produce so I think I'm just gonna go to Valley Produce and that's it um this week and so like I said I don't need to go there I don't really have a purpose so um I don't think we're gonna try and squeeze that in tomorrow as well I think we'll try and just go on one day um like on Monday um you know do them well I guess do them in two separate days tomorrow go to Jewel and Aldi and then on Monday just go to Valley Produce um but it should be fast since we'll only have to just go to the one store so anyways though that's sort of what that looks like I guess too when I said that it was weird that it was snowing outside <laughs> not it's January I expect that I expect there to be snow outside but um, I just didn't hear anything about it and like I said I didn't really see it and it wasn't snowing at all like during the day today and it's weird too because it was actually cloudy like yesterday sort of maybe the day before that and then it wasn't so much like earlier in the day I felt like it got a little bit cloudy and like but I don't know it was still sort of sunny outside so I didn't like not super sunny but like it just didn't seem like really like you know like snowy sort of like <laughs> outside um and cloudy to that extent so that's why um like I said I wasn't totally expecting that and then for it to snow like at night and then I just went out there and saw that there was all the snow out there I was like oh okay <laughs> um so yeah anyways but the last thing that we had was actually the ice all over and so like I said I think that was what was finally starting to like melt because before that we had the snow then we had the ice now we have snow again um but that was last weekend too I think was that it was icing over and everything and so it was almost a week it was almost gone by this point and now we have more snow so yeah guys this is the part two where like I am just sort of over January already I'm sort of over February too because we'll probably have very similar um weather in February although it is very weird honestly whenever I was in school I almost always remember like randomly like there was multiple times when I was in school I remember once in like seventh or eighth grade maybe we had these like three days I think it was in like February where um and then I think a couple of years ago too in February where it was like 70s out or something like that normally in February none of the gym classes were running outside you know for like laps for gym but I remember I was in health class actually and I think like I said it was seventh grade and um I remember watching all of the kids outside running while I was just sitting inside and I was like huh you guys all have to run although I had to run when it was actually really warm outside and we had to do it every single week <laughs> but um, I remember like I said watching being like like huh it's nice enough outside that everybody has to run for gym class um because like I said it was it was hot outside like actually hot outside in February and then that happened I think just a couple of years ago too because I think I took a picture of my dad grilling outside like in the middle of February because like I said it was like 70 degrees out um so every once in a blue moon that does wind up happening where we will get like a really weird sort of like hot you know like um heat wave sort of for like a couple days and then it goes back to sort of being cold but um like I said you know <laughs> that might happen but like January and February are always really the crummy months just because like if it happens in December it's okay because for me I'm anticipating like oh the Christmas time like it's snowing I'm happy for that and even maybe the beginning of January because I'm not sick of it by the mid to end of January and February I am over the snow if we've gotten any too because I remember there was a couple years ago where we got absolutely I think no snow at all I think it snowed on Halloween day like night and all the little kids had to wear like their snowsuits <laughs> to go trick-or-treating and like I said I think this was three or maybe four years ago and then um I don't think that it actually snowed which is weird because normally we don't get snow in like October especially as much as we got and then I don't think it snowed for like literally maybe like a dusting but I don't think it snowed actually at all for the rest of that winter which I felt like was really really weird just their normal sort of like weather patterns like like I am again normally by February and the January around this time I'm sort of just over the snow we haven't had all of too much and it hasn't happened all of too often either so I'm not overly hating it right now 
but I'm sort of over it already. I wouldn't mind if it'd go back to sort of being warm again already and start to get into spring sort of weather, but no, we're only in January and we still have so long to wait, which like I said, is not fun. Like I'm ready to start looking into like, what can I do in the garden, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm also very upset that we still do not have enough garden beds. All the garden beds that we planned on, we still do not have them all finished yet. So we still have to do that um, so that we can actually plant all the things that we want to. But like, you know, there's all that kind of stuff too that I can, I guess, look forward to. Maybe start planning even so that, you know, that anticipation for spring will be even more. Um, and again, try and figure out what else we can plant from seed and stuff like that. But um, that's the other thing that's sort of tough too is that um, we don't have really anywhere where we can grow like our plants inside like when we've done them in the past it honestly just gets shuffled around like the little nursery sort of like you know the flats the I forget what they're called something flats or whatever but um like we just shuffle them around like they're on the stove they're on the the kitchen table they're you know on the coffee bar in the living room they're you know on a tv tray in the living room like we don't have anywhere where we can keep them so even though we love to grow them from seed it's so hard when you don't have like a dedicated space that you can like we don't have windowsills that are big enough like i could do one little you know like <laughs> potted plants on the windowsill but i can't do a nice whole big flat of stuff that we want to grow and actually do from seed so um like i said that's one of the things that sort of stinks but anyways guys i need to take a shower and get to bed but i'm excited for the anticipation of spring already i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys